got shot <laughs> hey, real fast. Question for Liam. Yep. Should I be upset Skylar Brindamore didn't sign here? No. Who? Skylar I'm Brindamore. devastated. Son I am too. Rod, enemy of the Oilers. So like prospect analysis on him is what, meh? Um, he's just a he's a big guy who scores in front of the net. So I, I, I don't know. I think it was Bruce Kerlock who said it, is that he's a lesser Noah Philp, and we already have Noah Philp. Like, this yeah, is really, I don't, he, he didn't understand why everyone's getting so hot under the collar. I think it's obviously the team just won the Frozen Four, whatever. Um, dude, he's like a sixth round draft pick. Yeah, I'm not worried. Why are we literally getting this upset about a sixth round draft pick? I'm still One upset thing about to Mesh, consider, man. too. Know. Is it wasn't the Oilers who said no? It was Brendan Moore that said no. Yeah, good. Brendan, yeah, the Oilers didn't do anything. Well, because uh, Gregor today tweeted, Brendan Moore, from his perspective, just doesn't see a path to the NHL with the Oilers because they're so too he's good. So he's looking for the easy way is what you're trying to say. Well, I mean, you look through. He's a sentiment. Allegedly, in my opinion. Yeah. David, Dreisaitl, McLeod. That's your younger yep. guys. Then in Bakersfield, you have Holloway, Borgo, Tulio, Philp. Um, it's a lot of young forwards. Carl Berglund is Half a the players guy. on our team is so nine Senaman. Well, Borgo and Holloway are more NHL wingers, but sure. But uh, for the time being, if he went to Bakersfield this season, he would be the fifth center on that team. So basically, I th- feel like uh, I, to be honest, I forgot we even had the rights to him. We drafted him six years ago. I thought it expired a while ago. But this is the first year he's got double digit goals since junior. Every other year, I think he barely. Well, this is his totals in four years with Quinnipiac. When a PX, sorry, he had 13 points, 11 points, 20 points, and he had 32. So the bump was the team got way better this year, so yeah. that helped his numbers a little bit. But he's never going to drive the play, he just keeps the puck moving. Like, he's a good player, I'm not saying he's bad, but he's essentially Zach Hyman, who's a little bit taller. We've done this before, we've walked, the, we've walked this road numerous times, bag of milk. There's probably six or seven college players that we've gotten all hyped up about. Happened and have you. any of them done anything? The way I think about it is I'm looking at Skylar Brendamore's stats here. He wasn't even a point per game player in college. Mm. And I think about when Drake Kajula was like the free agent from out of North Dakota. Jimmy VC, Spencer Fu. Spencer Fu, the Danny DeKaiser. I mean, the only one who really did anything was Schultz. Schultz, Schultz did. Schultz did have a good career. Uh, did. Had a good career. Came on, he came yeah. out of college. Yeah, but there's a, like the he came way. out of college, but he didn't do the whole song and dance where he was like, "I'm not, no, 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 no. Ooh, I don't want to play for you." But like, I guess my point there is Adam Fox for is legit. Every yeah, good row that comes out of college, there's way more Spencer Foos. Yeah, I think um, the Oilers did a good job of signing Ryan Fancy last season just to add some goaltending to their depth because obviously you can wait a little bit longer on goaltending. He was a free agent, but and some I, grit too. Yeah, and some great and some. He He's got score. hands. He can score. He's got too. hands. Yeah, um, throws them and scores. But I, I do think when these free agents come out, you can get them on a, a minimum contract. They're about 23, 24 years old, and then you could potentially put them in a the lineup. And if they hit, you've got a guy on a rookie deal for three years. If they miss, you bury him in the American. How many league. of these guys actually sign three year rookie deals though? A lot well, of them sign one and twos. They're signing two, three years. A deals. lot of the guys will come and sign a two, but and they'll burn their first one on seven games in the at the end yeah. at the end of the season. No, they get put on amateur contracts and then they extend. Well, it's a bit of both. Year, Sometimes right? they'll convince them to sign because they'll, sure. they'll be like, "Hey, we'll let you burn a year." Yeah, we'll let you burn a year. Sure. That's the whole point the of the coming. Point is, here. you have a chance of getting a guy like Spencer Fu. I know it didn't work out, but he had sixty two points in thirty games in college. You you got to kind of take the jump at that guy and be like. Well, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, who really cares? Because it has no effect on your team.